test one, two, three. Hey, Shagheads, it is Curtis Tucker. I am back. It has been a while. I apologize for the long delay, but I am back. The podcast is still here. It's going to be just a little bit different. You guys probably noticed a brand new name, brand new nickname, a brand new logo. And so just a quick explanation of that. Uh, I had so many accounts, uh, so many social media accounts and things. I've got Enid Buzz and That Buzz Guy and Shaggy Duck and Cartoons and Curtis Tucker and Chuckleberries and uh, just even more than that. And I thought, you know, I've got to somehow consolidate all of this stuff down to make it simpler so I can update just, you know, fewer things. And so what I've done is I'm going to take the CurtisTucker.com website and try to funnel everything into that so I only have one blog, one website to update. And so Shaggy Duck will feed into that. The 70s Buzz podcast will feed into that. But my corporate name and business name has been Shaggy Duck Studio ever since 2000. So it's been 21 years and I'd kind of quit using it and I was using more of the Buzz stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and kind of get away from that so I can drop all of that and that'll be less things than I have to update. And so now I'm just going back with Shaggy Duck Studio and instead of being my nickname being that buzz guy, it's going to be Shags. And so you guys can check out here. And instead of this being that buzz guy podcast, it's going to be a Shaggy Duck Life. It'll still be a lot of journaling and me talking about kind of behind the scenes and the adventures that I'm going on. Uh, on the different things that I'm doing, but uh, probably not as much a how-to. Uh, look at the old, listen to the old episodes or look on YouTube at the old videos. And so if you want to know kind of how to set podcasts and blogs and websites and things up, look at those. But I think at this point, I don't want to keep going over that stuff and going deep into that. I'd rather talk about some fun things that are going on. And so it's going to be more of a journaling Uh, podcast and blog and YouTube channel. I hope you guys will stick with me. Uh, Hopefully you'll learn something or get some pretty good stories uh, for each episode. So this episode, again, I want to reintroduce myself. You guys are no longer the buzzheads. You guys are shagheads. And one of the big reasons all of this has happened is if you look, if you're looking on the video on YouTube and uh, if you're only listening to the podcast, please go to Curtis Tucker TV on YouTube, and you'll see that I am in my brand new Shaggy Duck studio. I'm going to stand up and kind of, uh, kind of doing this in a different format, recording as well. Hopefully uh, the recording sounds okay, but this is my new studio, and we just built it, uh, moved back into our old house and built this outside in the backyard, and it's just kind of a fresh start. gives me a lot uh, more opportunities here. Let me flip this around this way, and I uh, got my beads on the door. But anyway, just a brand new studio here. got all my stuff in it. got me a vinyl record player, a turntable. Um, got my surfboard in here, a lot of 70s stuff, my Farrah poster on the wall and stuff like that. And so we are also recording our live forum for the 70s Buzz podcast. We are recording that in here, and so it's kind of become a fun studio. And what I've decided is I'm going to lean a little more towards Shaggy Duck Studio. And uh, beginning in 2022, I've got a bunch of projects I'm going to be working on. And so part of the podcast will be letting you guys follow me on those projects. And so if you have any interest in blogging, podcasting, uh, you know, keeping up a website, then follow me and I'll kind of give you guys an idea of what I'm doing with Shaggy Duck Studio there. But also here are uh, some of the projects and many of you guys already know uh, about some of these. So I still am planning on writing the book. It's going to be called uh, Banana Seat Squad and it's about me and my buddies growing up in Enid, Oklahoma in the 70s. But it's not going to be, it is going to be based the characters and, and some events on real events and are growing up, but it's going to be more of an adventure and a fiction type book. And hopefully one day there'll be a screenplay and then a movie. And it's just going to be kind of a cool, fun, uh, run down memory lane of living and uh, getting outside and playing in the 70s. So so, uh, Banana Seat Squad book coming up. And then I'm also going to do some art. I want to do some big paintings, some big canvas paintings. 
I'm not sure what I'm going to call those or, or what that's going to be. I'm still trying to pin that down, but that will be under the artist name Shags. And so those paintings will be signed Shags. So I've got the, the book, the paintings, and then also Shaggy Duck. I've always wanted to turn Shaggy Duck into a brand, a lifestyle brand. And so that's where the blog, the podcast, uh, all that comes into play. And so you know, I just want to encourage you guys to have a more positive, outdoorsy, healthy life. And so some of the episodes will be about some of that type of stuff. But also uh, some graphic design, some of the cartooning that I'll be doing, and just some of the, the regular uh, Shaggy Duck stuff, but also a clothing line. And so kind of a outdoorsy, shaggy, surf type of uh, look to everything, 70s, groovy 70s look, far out stuff, where uh, be a lot of t-shirt designs. They're going to be eventually probably some hats and socks and uh, just some other stuff like that, but basic, basically mainly uh, Shaggy Duck t-shirts. And so I've got the logo. Um, again, you probably noticed it on the uh, new podcasting uh, apps and stuff, but here, here's a first sticker I've done. This is kind of a kind of gives that metallic look and I apologize for you all that aren't watching this on YouTube. But here's the first Shaggy Duck sticker. I would love for you guys to have a Shaggy Duck sticker on your vehicle. Oh, and, and then another part is, um, it's probably been a year, but about a year ago I bought a Jeep and so, and you see the logo right there behind me, Jeep. Uh, some, of the, some of the episodes will be about uh, the fun uh, life of uh, owning a Jeep and uh, some of the cool aspects to being a Jeep owner. There's a lot of cool things that uh, are benefits of being a Jeep owner, and I'll kind of let you guys know about that. If you don't own a Jeep, you probably don't know about some of those. So again, it's just going to be uh, kind of the same, but a little bit different. Uh, if you guys listen to the 70s Buzz podcast, that's uh, a podcast that Todd Wheeler and I do where we talk a lot about uh, the 70s. And I'll probably have Todd uh, be a co-host over on this podcast every now and then as well, because uh, all we try to talk about 100% on that podcast uh, is everything in relation to the 70s, whereas over here, I can get Todd to be on this podcast. Like if we have a subject that we're wanting to talk about or update you guys about, and we don't really feel like we can do it on the 70s Buzz podcast, we will do it over here on this podcast. And so, and I'll also continue with uh, interviews. I know uh, some of the interviews that I've done on this podcast are some of the most downloaded episodes. And so I'll continue uh, interviewing people and anybody famous that I run into, I'll interview and it will uh, I'll turn it into a podcast episode on here. Plan on trying to contact a lot more um, 70s, uh, you know, celebrities from the 70s. Try to get them on either this podcast or the 70s Buzz podcast. And uh, so that's kind of where I am headed. I, uh, I know it's been a while since I've updated, and I'm not quite sure exactly if I'm going to have a regular schedule on the podcast right now. And I know that's kind of frustrating uh, for people trying to listen to podcasts. I know I get uh, frustrated if people don't stick to their normal schedule. But I guess my intent would be to do more podcast episodes than less. And so the goal is at least one podcast episode a week, um, and then maybe just slip in some extra 30 minute uh, or 45 minute episodes as well, depending on things that are going on. So I've got, I've already got a list of different things that I'm going to talk about. Um, hopefully they're interesting to you guys. And if not, just skip that episode and uh, look for the next one. But again, the uh, A Shaggy Duck Life is not going to be as much about teaching you guys, you know, the technical stuff of doing, you know, online things, but more about, you know, what's going on, what, what, uh, how do things work, how do things go wrong, how do things go right, how does it benefit your family, how, uh, how fun is it being an entrepreneur, just more of that journal type stuff. Um, you know, how does the freedom of being an entrepreneur what do those aspects bring uh, as far as like having two daughters in college, you know, having the freedom to go watch football games and things like that and uh, working from home and uh, all that. So I'm flip around here. So again, if you're just listening to this podcast, please uh, make a trip over to youtube.com slash Curtis Tucker TV and you'll be able to check out the new studio. I'll show you guys a couple of 
let me see if I can find it. I've got uh, my uh, gumball machine right there. It is full of marbles. Those are marbles I played with in the 1970s. That was one of my favorite things to do was play with marbles. I came up with all kinds of games. Those roller coasters that I used to build out of Hot Wheels tracks, I, I ran th those exact marbles right there in that bubblegum machine. Um, I'm a big fan of pedal cars. And so when Hallmark had their kitty car classics, I bought a lot of those. So I've got a lot of Hallmark kitty car classics up there on the shelves as well. And then um, even though it wasn't 70s, uh, there's the 80s. I love the movie Goonies. There's my um, signed, signed by Sean Astin, uh, my copy of Goonies. Uh, nostalgic Dr. Pepper sign back there. And just, I mean, there's so much stuff on these shelves um, that uh, we'll probably just, I'll hit on them as we go. And then right, let's see if you guys can see, kind of right behind me is my vinyl right there. You can see uh, Fleetwood Mac Rumors, greatest album of all time. I've got, uh, I'm building my collection back. I had sold all my vinyl at a garage sale and I'm slowly uh, getting it back. I've got some Boston, REO, Kansas, Rolling Stones, uh, getting some of that stuff back. And then over here, over my shoulder, you can see my brand new turntable there. It's very cool. And uh, yep, right there is my Charlie Brown uh, vinyl album. It's got all the music from the Charlie Brown Christmas special. If you guys are looking for a uh, Christmas music for the holidays, this uh, either get this album, CD, or, you know, however you can get it. It's got the best Christmas music. You just put it on and you can listen to the whole thing. It is very cool. Uh, let's see, what other cool things? And so kind of the theme of the office is uh, mid-century modern, but I've got my old desk, uh, actually a drafting table there. I've got my Christopher, uh, Christopher Knight chair. He's got a whole line of mid-century modern furniture. That green chair there is from his collection. Uh, right there is an Eskimo Joe poster signed by Stan Clark, the owner of Eskimo Joe's. My cat calendar poster that I won in Oklahoma City, 1989 on the wall. And then there's my Farrah Fawcett poster. Um, if you guys haven't listened to my Farrah Fawcett episode, go back and listen to that. And then I had a, a buddy of mine. Uh, I was Back in the day, I had a Toyota 4Runner and I was wanting to put a surfboard on the top and living in the middle of Oklahoma or Northwest Oklahoma, it was very hard to find a surfboard, but a buddy of mine in California actually mailed me that surfboard. I painted it blue, put some stickers on it. I'm getting ready to sand it all down and, and repaint it. And then if you'll notice right there behind that, the picture of the Thunderbirds, that is the signed picture that I got from the Thunderbirds after I flew with them. And uh, so that's really cool. Let's see, back here, got a lava lamp. We've got our band picture uh, that we formed, our band in the 1970s, Scooby-Doo. I love that. Um, got a, uh, a cooler there. And then if I've got a Coca-Cola cooler. Sorry about my camera moving around right there. Uh, so anyway, and then like I said, the beads. And uh, in here, that'll eventually be, there's a, a room if you can't, you're not able to see on the podcast. That's probably where I'll do a lot of the painting, um, one of the projects for 2022. And so, and then I've got a, a red, not red rider, rider, but a daisy, I believe it's a daisy BB gun uh, there. So anyway, just a quick, oh, one more quick, uh, can you see my red and yellow scooter? I've got an old metal uh, push scooter that I redid there. And so that's just some of the fun stuff here in Shaggy. Duck Studio. Um, and again, this format, if you're watching this on YouTube, I've got a, a selfie stick and I've got my uh, phone on the selfie stick. And then I'm using one of these Rode Wireless Go mics is how I'm recording this episode. And so what I'll do is after I do the video, I'll pull, I'll rip the audio out of the video and that will be what I'm going to use for the podcast. Hopefully it sounds good. I know the acoustics, uh, just listening right now, I kind of hear a little bit of reverb. So I'm, I don't know how, you know, podcast quality this is going to sound. If it doesn't sound super good, then I'll, you know, I'll go back to another format. Um, but right now I've just got the little uh, lapel mic on 
and hopefully I'm not clipping or anything like that. But anyway, again, uh, new everything, getting ready for uh, one week, a week. Today is Monday I'm recording this. A week from today I turn 59 years old, and so, um, you know, at 59 I'm actually just, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do when I grow up. And so I've got a lot of fun stuff on the horizon, the paintings, the book, the clothing line. And I know there's some stuff I am forgetting, but um, uh, we'll get that. Uh, I'll get that. I'll get all this stuff on the blog. So if you guys don't like listening to podcasts, but you want to follow along and see what's going on, go to curtistucker.com. And I've got different sections there, different categories. So you guys can go there and just read the different categories that you're interested in. If you go to 70sbuzz.com, that'll take you to a page on curtistucker.com, and I will update that with all the 70s stuff from that show. Uh, if you want to know more about Shaggy Duck, you can go to shaggyduck.com. It will take you to a page on curtistucker.com, and I'll have more information on the studio and some pictures. As of the recording of this podcast, I don't have all those pages Uh, with information. I've got them built, but I don't have the uh, updated information on them yet. And so eventually, uh, I've already started, I will be phasing out that buzz guy and that'll go away and it'll just be, I'll just be shags. And so I'm getting a new uh, license plate for my car, which will be shags. I'll probably re-sticker my Jeep with uh, Shaggy Duck Studio logos. And again, I showed you the logo. What I wanted to go for with the Shaggy Duck logo, the new Shaggy Duck logo, was something retro, something 70s looking, and also the colors. So hopefully I kind of came across with that on the new logo. Hope you guys enjoy that. Um, Again, uh, I will figure out a way of getting guys those stickers. I'm probably going to be using Patreon a lot more this next year. Uh, Try to make a little money at all this. If you guys want to support me there, there will be uh, different incentives for subscribing on Patreon. But um, there will be some... I've just ordered the first Shaggy Duck t-shirt, and it's basically uh, a black t-shirt, and it's going to have that Shaggy Duck logo in the middle of it. We'll see how that turns out. Uh, I just ordered one sample, but when those come in, Hopefully you guys will like that. And then I've got uh, probably at least half a dozen ideas for the first Shaggy Duck line. I've just got to figure out how I want to get those printed. I'd like the quality of the t-shirts and design and stuff to be really good quality and not just use some of these, um, what do they call that, uh, sublimation type process. I'd like to get everything silk screened, although it's a lot more expensive, especially when you're doing low quantity But uh, I'll get all that figured out, and we will get that going so you guys can order some Shaggy Duck swag. And uh, I think that's about it for now. This episode's going to be a little bit shorter. I'll probably try to keep, you know, most of the episodes again to anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour. Probably try to end them most in the 45-minute range. But this one is just uh, to kind of reintroduce everything going on at Shaggy Duck Studio to let you guys know why the name change why all that. Um, It's still going to be me. I mean, the the podcast is still me just jibber-jabbing. You guys, give me some feedback. You guys can go to iTunes or just send me an email, uh, curtis at shaggyduck.com, or uh, I've got all kinds of other emails, but I'm going to try to use that one a little bit more, curtis at shaggyduck.com. Email me. Let me know what you think about the show, what ideas uh, I could, you know, talk about, what things I can talk about. I've got some fun stuff. Uh, to talk about the things that have happened this year. I basically, I've gone a year without really doing any episodes. And so uh, lots of stories. Uh, moving back into this house and building this uh, studio is a story. Uh, following my daughters, one is on Arkansas Palm, one is on Oklahoma Palm. Following that football season was uh, was fun. That's another story. Uh, driving around in my Jeep, getting used to a Jeep again, that's a whole nother story. And so just a bunch of different stories. Hopefully I can keep them interesting, keep you guys interested. But I would love to talk about the things that you guys are interested in, what you guys want to know. If you guys want to know anything about being an entrepreneur, about working for yourself, about working from home, I mean, that's a whole nother deal in itself is, you know, the discipline to work from home and not have the TV on and um, not getting things done, but you know, working on things around the house. Um, so let me know what questions you guys have. I appreciate you guys uh, still checking in, and 
I should be back to uh, updating the podcast on a regular schedule. And then I will also be updating the blog, curtistucker.com, the YouTube channel, Curtis Tucker TV on YouTube. But uh, appreciate you guys again checking in. You guys are the Shagheads. We will have some Shagheads uh, swag as well, some t-shirts and stickers and stuff for you guys. So thanks for checking in and you guys have a wonderful holiday that's coming up. I'm sure I'll have a, an episode out before Christmas, but if not, you guys have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holiday, and let's look forward to a great year in 2022. Uh, if you guys have followed me at all, you guys know that uh, my number is 20 and uh, 2 and 22. And so 2022, I'm looking forward to every day for 2022 being uh, a good day, a good, uh, it's going to be a good year, good vibes all throughout the year. So uh, lots of twos coming up for me and I'm looking forward to it. So I'm going to sign off here. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you soon.